Memphis at Tulane. And Tulane, a seven-point favorite over at BetUS. The total sits at 56 and a half. Uh, let me write down the time here. 3.30 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN2. And let's go on and pull up the stats, of course. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see the screen yourself. You'll see what's up. Uh, this is a fun matchup. Um, Tulane is 5-0 and against the spread their last five against the American Athletic Conference. They are 8-1 and against the spread in their last nine games overall. Willie Fritz has got this team playing really, really well, especially on defense. Uh, Memphis 2-5 and against the spread in their last seven against Tulane. They are 7-15 and in their last 22 AAC games. That's against the number, of course. They are 3-11 and against the spread in their last 14 road games. So that is certainly not good for the Memphis Tigers. Uh, but looking at this, the line is 7. I have got it Tulane minus 4.68. So a couple of points of value here. Uh, you start breaking down exactly what it is that would keep this game close. And the big part of this is the Memphis offense, which has kind of tailed off in recent weeks, even with them putting up 40-some-odd points in a loss at East Carolina. Uh, their their big thing is that they throw the ball 51.37% of the time. That's number 60 in the country. They try and run it quite a bit. Number 71 there, they are 48.21% running rate. Uh they're not going to have a ton of success doing that against Tulane's defense. Tulane's defense is number 13 in PPA per rush, number 25 in rushing success rate allowed, and they are number 19 in uh, excuse me rushing explosiveness allowed. So Memphis is not going to be able to take advantage of those uh, really quick explosive plays, uh, even passing the ball. Tulane's passing defense, number 11 in explosiveness allowed. So this Tulane defense is really, really good. Uh, Memphis does a good job not turning the ball over. They are number 13 in turnover, uh, turnover margin, number 21 in penalties per game. Uh, but Tulane a little bit better as far as penalties per game at number 9. The Tulane offense is the biggest thing. looks like uh, Michael Pratt is going to play this week for them. So uh, coming back from injury, that is certainly a big thing. Uh, their PPA per pass, has not. it's not great for Tulane, but it's okay. They don't do it a ton. 48% of the time they pass the ball. Uh, but they're number 60 in PPA per pass, number 82 in passing success rate. That Memphis defense is putrid against the pass. So with you know Pratt coming back, that should be something that they can take advantage of against Memphis. I Even with the number saying that I should lean Memphis here, I'm still going to ride with Tulane to cover the seven. Uh, too many trends point that direction. Tulane is a really, really good team, especially at home. I will, I will take Memphis... Uh, excuse me, I will take Tulane to cover the seven on that one.